Is Sean, good afternoon. How are you today? What do you have for me? I'm um, great, Doug. I, I didn't want to talk as much baseball, but now I do, so I'll save that to the end. Uh, NHL last night, uh, obviously thought it was a good night, two, uh, two of the three games. Um, I, thought, uh, I thought Winnipeg was a little tight despite the shots on goal advantage. Uh, I thought Minnesota was game. Uh, if that's any indication, maybe it's going to be a tougher series than I thought, but it was, I thought it was an excellent game last Good game. Night. I think Winnipeg, Winnipeg showed some guts after having a lead getting and then falling they behind did. and then still winning. I thought that was a good sign for the franchise. Go ahead. They did, and uh, obviously great crowd. Um, uh, the Vegas game, that, that crowd was tremendous as well. I fell asleep uh, close to the end of the second period. I was shocked that that one nothing early goal held up for the entire game. Uh, good for them. I, I still picked the Kings in that series, but we'll see. Um, the Flyers, uh, you know, I know we've been through this a hundred times before, not with the Flyers, but with, with Brian Elliott as your goaltender. Uh, that series, you know, looks like it would be a quick one with him in goal. And just uh, if, if, if the Flyers coach, Dave Haxtell, is going to go back to Elliott like he alluded to that he was, you got to get him out of that game at three nothing last night, not five. Don't let the you know don't let the goaltender. If you're going to come back with him, don't don't let a don't let. Uh, have, they have took to him out too low. They took him out at five nothing. Got him out at three nothing. Yeah, he, I know you can come back with a three nothing lead, but that game was over three nothing. The Flyers had nothing. and he took him out. He took him out. He let him get two more goals. That's a good point. Good point. Go yeah. ahead. Um, uh, now, just quickly on the Warriors, dog. I, I don't like what I've seen from them, I, and not that I've been watching them that close, but I don't like that, that they've, you know, they, they've basically, you know, uh, lost an incredible amount of games here in the last, you know, for them in the last month. I don't like that they've lost the home games. Uh, they, they've mailed a lot in, um, and they just seem like they've been disinterested. I know the injuries, but you know, they've had they have had Durant and Thompson and. Uh, and, um, I agree with that. Uh, I mean, and, and I, even I and Thompson know. and Thompson and Durant played the game in Utah the other night when I lost by forty five points. So I know lose them by five. Come on, lose them by forty. Uh, I I don't like that. I I I'd be concerned that Portland Portland will be game to play them in the second round. Uh, I'd be concerned about the Warriors. Um, now, dog baseball. For what I want to lead off with with baseball is you mentioned the Quick, attendance quickly, Sean. Um, Go ahead. Yeah, it is terrible. Do you know? Do you know the Marlins drew uh, uh, announced sixty one fifty last night for the Mets. Uh, they were outdrawn by their Double A affiliate, the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. Uh, that is a disgrace. What's going on in Florida? Uh, ah, listen, I got a major problem there, and I was aware of that. Um, uh, again, the problem that baseball has right now. This is a perfect storm. The weather, major factor, started too soon, understood, and a lot of bad teams. You put all that in the mix, nobody's going to the ballpark. Five o'clock, uh, five o'clock, we're just getting warmed up, busy day. Stick with us.